love fresh herbs from my garden rather than sad or wilted looking herbs from the refrigerator. What a beautiful time to be outside and enjoying nature. The air is fresh and crisp and the weather is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit here in Florida. It's almost time for me to step outside and start getting my garden ready for the next season. But before that, let me share what I grow during winter. Connecting with nature helps me find peace of mind in my busy life. During winter, when the temperature is around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, green leafy vegetables like spinach, chard, uh, lettuce, beetroot even, those are some of the vegetables tend to do the best when the temperature is around uh, 60, 65, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but there are many many other vegetables that can be grown during winter season as well uh, i'm not so much into growing like um, many leafy vegetables uh, during winter but i love to grow some of the herbs during winter and um, some of the herbs actually do uh, well all year round around but there are some that do really well when the temperature is around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, uh, every year I grow fenugreek leaves, methi, um, we call it in India, which is uh, like a super food to me. And uh, I really love to grow um, fenugreek leaves. I have been growing fenugreek leaves for many, many years now. And I have grown fenugreek leaves even indoor. I used to live in Canada from the year 2000 to 2005 and uh, um, that didn't stop me gardening. I used to uh, grow fenugreek leaves in my apartment and um, um, it did really really well even indoor. So if the weather is extreme and um, if you can't really grow something outdoor there are possibilities that you can uh, grow many things um, indoor even here i have methi seeds fenugreek seeds and here i have some pots that i'm going to use to sow fenugreek seeds as you can see i already have some here and in this pot as well It's fairly easy to grow fenugreek seeds. Just uh, take few in your hand and sprinkle all over on the soil. Then cover those seeds with soil. Do not over soil. Just a very thin layer of soil. water lightly and then just simply wait when you greek seeds have sprouted this much after three days so they have grown this much after five days. Look at these fenugreek leaves now. They have grown quite big but I'm still going to wait a couple of more days before I harvest them. The same way I grow dhania. Cilantro which is coriander leaves grows really well during winter around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for growing coriander leaves. When you find yourself cooking with tons of fresh herbs, it might be beneficial to start growing your own fresh herbs. I am so much into herbs and spices and I love to garnish fresh green looking herbs at the end of the cooking uh, to give that flavor, color, and much more. Here I have some garlic chives that I'm going to sprinkle on top. Garnish with ladanya, coriander leaves. Contrary to what people think about growing their own herbs, it is 
so much funful and it is way easier than one would think um, every season all I do is just you know throw some seeds and uh, water regularly good sunlight and that's all herbs need many herbs can be grown indoor even if the uh, weather condition is most of the time extreme in the area where you live so uh, when I used to live in Canada I used to grow a lot of fenugreek leaves indoor in my apartment let me show you how fun-full it is to sprout garlic all right so here I have prepared another container to show you how I grow garlic pretty easy quick and it's fun food trust me so some people start with a whole bulb with the garlic bulb but I prefer to sprout uh, garlic with uh, individual cloves so it's totally your preference uh, to me personally they do better when I do with the cloves uh, instead of a bulb so as I mentioned, you can start with the whole garlic bulb or you can um, start with cloves and I'm going to start with cloves of garlic. The only thing to keep in mind is that uh, this part, the stem part goes into the soil and poke it until you see just the tip of the garlic uh, clove and so I'm just going to finish with all the cloves so pretty easy right even kids can do it so encourage your kids to grow something and uh, when it grows they will be so proud of themselves and uh, water sprinkle just a little bit of water and water again whenever you see dry so it needs to be damp in order to sprout them really well and here I have the one that's already sprouted as you can see so you saw how quick and easy and funful it is to grow uh, garlic now when it's time to harvest most people just uh, pull the whole thing uh, basically with garlic so let me show you one here I don't want to do it but okay so when I try to harvest it just broke uh, so in the market sometimes you usually get the whole thing with the garlic now what I normally do as you can see a lot of them are like um, kind of cut from the middle so I do not go all the way down but whatever I need so I just uh, harvest uh, for example just harvest from here and it, it grows back from here one tip I would like to share here though is that as the sprouts age they tend to fade their aroma and uh, like a fragrance their their uh, taste even color sometimes um, so I prefer to uh, grow like a new ones every uh, three to six months but it may depend on um, the weather condition as well next let me show you how to grow onion spring onion basically or green onion also known as the same way exactly the same way so let's get started exactly the same way i sprout spring onion also known as scallions which is basically green onion all right so in this container i have already some spring onion sprouted i'm going to remove them and plant the new ones Alright, so here I got some soil just to spread evenly. Now, here I just bought spring onion from the market, or you can just buy the seeds. It's up to you, but I love to start with roots uh, for faster growth. And so I'm just going to use the green part in my cooking. And I'm just going to remove the white part, basically the root that we normally throw away. So next time when you get the spring onion from the market, be sure to use them. So basically you can grow them even indoor. I have already shared a video earlier even. So just about 
about an inch or inch and a half just cut them and we are going to use to plant so simply just start cooking them keep a little distance between each of them these are my favorite in my fusion recipes like indo chinese recipes that i prepare often and uh, and i can't do some of those chinese indo chinese recipes without spring onion so just simply keep cooking and they will start sprouting in just uh, less than a week yeah they don't have to have a lot of space around them so just perfect this way all right and here i have planted this time some green peas and they are doing actually great so every year i um, love to try something different in my garden so this year it's green peas and let's see how they do in order to grow directly uh, into the ground dig about six inches of uh, hole add a few seeds here i have four of them so i'm just going to add and then cover with soil that's it water lightly that's it i have started getting the green peas as you can see not load of it but it will start getting better now since the weather is getting better this one has some over here and i am hoping to cook something really yummy using these green peas all right let me introduce my today's guest in my garden mr turtle turtles are a gift from nature and i am lucky to have this guy as my guest in my garden today every year in early spring i grow lots of basil and mains here i'm showing the short video clips but for the dedicated video you can watch my full video i shared earlier I also prefer to add cow manure always, always when I plant seeds. In one pot, I'm going to plant sweet basil and this is another variety of basil. I usually plant these two varieties. So just open the back. Take the seeds in your hands. This is how the basil seeds look like. So just to sprinkle everywhere and I just um, stuck the paper on the side to see which variety or what plant is in this one until they grow it's hard to figure out so if you have a uh, too many similar pots it's important to keep track of the things so this is another variety and now the mint now mint usually spreads on its own as well so don't you don't have to have too many seeds for this so here i have the mint seeds and i'm just going to drop them all over the pot over there and next cover with soil do not put too much of soil and water lightly 
uh, because we, the summer could be really hot uh, here in Florida so uh, I prefer to keep them in the porch look at this um, two mints have grown only so far and there are some even tiny tiny I could I can see them I'm not sure if you can see it but that's the mint um, that I just showed earlier you know in this video I planted just uh, last week and look at that this look at this basil basil grows really fast I just love it right now um, I'm in my porch so let's start with the porch plants um, these are the plants mostly all the herbs that cannot survive outside so I uh, prefer to keep them indoor not indoor actually but in my porch under the shade basically um, here I have Krishna Tulsi which is holy basil and um, here is the Ram Tulsi which is also like a holy basil but just a little different variety so in this area I have all Krishna and Ram Tulsi um, here I have again Ram Tulsi the reason I have a lot of them is that because I start using them from my morning tea uh, and sometimes I use later in the day um, in a few of the recipes as well um, this is uh, purple or like kind of I think it's called purple basil it has great aroma and that's a regular uh, sweet basil fresh basil pesto is the perfect use for my summer garden basil surplus mint my mint is kind of not doing well right now it actually died almost and then it um, came back to life um, here I have all the junk stuff in this one all the spring onions uh, lemongrass I am feeling little sad because my avocado plants are struggling so hard I have been keeping them uh, covered whenever the weather was like extreme uh, but still I couldn't uh, sail and I'm hoping that uh, they are alive from the roots because I covered even the roots really well and I can see a little bit of a green color um, on the like a main branch as you can see but this one is kind of uh, looking very very sad and so I am feeling sad as well um, most of the plants um, this winter season did not survive and even if they survived they are struggling very very hard uh, because the weather condition was a bit of uh, too extreme this year for us here in North Florida my uh, pomegranate uh, plant uh, seems like uh, just one branch left over there uh, so I'm hoping that it bounced back with some more green uh, leaves and some more avocado these are Mexican has avocados and they're doing actually a little bit better than uh, Florida avocados that I showed earlier and this one is actually looking better here and so everything else is it's time for me to clean up the orange plant is looking better now but uh, it was kind of a little sad a few days ago as well and uh, here I have lime which is also struggling hard I hope you enjoyed watching this video please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week you can download Bonas Kitchen app totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Bonas Kitchen is almost everywhere you can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself. Also, don't forget to visit my website baunaskitchen.com for all new topics, articles, recipes and more. Thanks for watching and see you soon.